Hello, welcome to this series of sessions and videos about jQuery. So if you are planning to learn jQuery, I would first of all like to say that you should have a good idea of HTML, especially HTML5, which is the latest version, CSS and JavaScript. Now jQuery primarily is a JavaScript library, which provides us a lot of functionality that we require in our day to day work for the web development or our web pages or other things that you require on the web page fine things that would had been complicated with javascript they are available with jquery primarily a lot of functionality that you would have written via javascript is now directly available with jquery and over there with a very small piece of code that you write your work can be done fine without getting into the details of javascript but in any case having a knowledge of javascript is going to be useful or is required so that you can further get some complex work done as per your requirements so assuming that without javascript you'll be able to continue and use jquery is not a good idea so if you are not aware of javascript you should at least brush up the javascript and then continue with these sessions now the question arises where do we get jquery so i've already opened the jquery website page that is jquery.com this is where you can get jquery fine jquery is under the mit license so you can use it by downloading it it's an open source software so here this is the latest version that is 3.7.1 for learning purpose it's a good idea that you download this compressed production version or uncompressed version it won't matter the other way is going to be using it via cdn which i will demonstrate it to so you simply need to download this file when you click on it most of the browsers will show it like this so simply do a file save and save the file wherever you want okay so this way you are going to have the jquery code and then we can start working upon it so that's how we can get started with jquery in the next video we are going to see how to use jquery and also i will demonstrate a simple example showing how the work that you can do with jquery can be faster rather than doing it with plain javascript